right? 3D printed selfie. I'm gonna show you how I do it. Oh, uh, the first thing is you wanna line up the axis of the chair. What about the axis of the actual scanner? Click on start here. I remove my glasses because it doesn't like these and I spin fairly slowly. While still looking at the screen whenever I get a chance to because these selfies are not that great to do but and it's done let's see how it came out Since, since I'm using my uh, tripod for the Kinect scanner, you can actually see the IR blaster through here. Let's see how my uh, selfie came out. What I'm using here is Reconstruct Me, the free edition. It's a bit bloated, it looks like, but we may have a good mesh yet with some post-processing and some cutting here all right let's save this and I'll cut away and show you guys the next part of it actually we'll save it now let's save it on desktop I'll save it as Bruno UI, yes, replace it. Surface save. Now we have the PLY. And I'm going to be using Mesh Mixer. Or I should say Mesh Lab. Let's do an open. It's in the desktop. Bruno. As you can see, it's not terrible, but we got to get rid of some of this stuff. So let's do this. Oops. All right. Delete. It's just a selector tool here. Click delete. Select the tool again, so on and so forth, and I'll do a bit of processing on this thing. There are a thousand Mesh Lab tutorials out there, so I'll look them up. You'll be able to do this probably better than I can. So, like so. So in either case, I'll do some processing here and then I'll show you what it looks like in Cura. See you in a second. And now we'll load it in Cura. Hopefully Cura is not going to crash because the model is like, you know, it's fairly big. It's human sized. So, but we can scale it. We can always scale it. So Cura is going to take a little while. Oh, it auto scaled it. Let's center it on the platform. Let's get the information on this. All right. Here's the scale. Huh. So x is x direction is uh, 108, 57 by 87. So that's not too bad. This is actually a fairly 3D printable file. Let's go for 0.1 mil. Layer height, fill density will put it at 
bottom thickness is one mil shell thickness one mil bottom and top thickness is one mil okay so with that said we want to slow it down a little bit about uh, 65 millimeters a second is a good target to shoot for and uh, this thing is estimating about three hours and forty minutes still loading pretty complex model I guess and uh, we'll load the STL file and uh, go from there okay then see you in a few since I'm doing a video about making a 3D selfie might as well show you how I actually prepare my 3D printer for printing I usually scrape all the ABS group that's left I take a bit of acetone and I've gotten into the habit of buying acetone by the gallon and I run a preliminary cleanup here this ensures a nice surface and while the bed is heating up it's currently at 71 C at least according to this I don't think it has crept its way into the actual bed yet, just yet and the acetone is evaporating very quickly as it should and I'm out of uh, black ABS goo which is what I normally use. I have some of this green ABS goop left and uh, I usually just spread it around cake it on I want the bed relatively warm before I apply this stuff uh, the reason for it is this way I get a nice thin porous layer and that's important because as the acetone is evaporating out of the goop very quickly the ABS that's left on there is very porous and it has uh, it's soft enough for the nozzle to dig itself into and this is just a preheat cycle I have my heated chamber turned on with the door open obviously <laughs> so it's not heating up very much right now but uh, it's set at 50 C it's currently about 27 in the chamber so far it's pretty warm in this room so we'll insert the card print from SD and give it a good slam it should start printing in about five minutes hey not bad huh it's almost done check it out we got a selfie in the full sense of the word <laughs> I'll cut away until when this is finished take a couple of pictures of it as well okay see you soon well it's at 99 percent and it's done now that it's done I'm gonna give it about five minutes or so if this was a larger part or um, part where I'm trying to keep the 
accuracy of the part. I would probably leave it in the heated chamber for about 10-15 minutes and let it cool down to the temperature of the heated chamber and then pull it out which at this point it's about 45 C is what I set the heated chamber at so it's keeping that temperature and it's working it's really working so now to do this uh, you just leave it on and the part will slowly crawl its way back down to the same temperature as the heated chamber once that temperature is reached I'll pull it out so it'll take about five minutes I mean most of the part is already around 45 C or so so with that said I should cut away to the finished part now well 3d printed selfie done and over with is it perfect nah not really the overhang on the chin was a little bit too much and got some weirdness here which I'm sure can be sanded away but that's definitely more than a 60 degree overhang so that's to be expected what I didn't expect was the actual hole on the top uh, that part I gotta figure out what slicer settings to put in I usually don't print things this hollow it's only like a 15% infill but and the actual 3d capture wasn't all that great but it's weird it actually looks like me this is both amazing and extremely creepy I feel like uh, I built my own gravestone marker again this is more than amazing with that said hit the subscribe button come back for more videos I'm just getting fired up I'm planning on uh, putting myself on a, a much tighter schedule than I did before I used to release a video every three to four weeks every month and a half sometimes and uh, then I took like six months off because of the life stuff uh, you, you can see it in the previous videos from this one but um, in either case yeah so subscribe I want to hit a thousand subscribers soon thanks